You ever meet a guy in person with the ideal physique? Not steroids level, but like the body of a Greek god. Lean and muscular. Not long ago, I met a guy at the gym with that physique, an ideal physique, and that's what I said to him. I said, dude, you have the ideal physique. If I could choose to have what kind of body, I would choose yours. So we started talking and we became friends. Now based on the title of this video, you might think I'm going to say that I envy his body, which I do, but that's not the main story. He's been messaging this cute girl on Hinge for weeks now, and he's afraid to meet up with her because he's afraid that she won't like him in person. He doesn't want to get hurt. So I said, stop assuming everything in your head and go meet her, go find out. And then he replied to me, I overthink too much and have no confidence. I envy your personality. And I was like, what the fuck? Here's a guy where you just look at him and he automatically earns respect from guys and attraction from women just based on his body because he's just he's got an amazing physique and he's saying he envies me. He's a master of one area of life and I'm a master of none in the areas of my life but he has something to envy about me. The funny thing is I don't even have a girlfriend and after talking with him, it seems like he has more relationship experience than I do. Nonetheless, he envies my personality that I don't take rejection as hard as he does. Well, that's partly because I've been rejected so many times by girls that it's not a huge deal anymore. I mean, it obviously still stings, but it's not like, oh, I'm so worthless because nobody likes me. I, I don't think that way. I guess he's more of that sort of thinking. Now the solution of comparing yourself to other people, envying others, was put succinctly by Jordan Peterson, who said, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not who someone else is today. And that is absolutely right, because that is actually a fair comparison. So my friend should be comparing himself to like a year ago. Am I more confident than I was a year ago? And I should be asking the question in six months or a year's time, am I more jacked or buff than I was? Instead of my friend comparing his confidence level with mine, or me comparing my body with his body. Easier said than done, I know. It's a natural instinct for us to compare ourselves with other people. But chatting with my friend made me realize that even people you envy probably envy somebody else. Even Ali Abdal, who's a multimillionaire, mentioned that when he's hanging out with decamillionaires, people with tens of millions of dollars, he was thinking, damn, I wanna reach that level. So the envy and comparison never ends. There's always somebody to envy, so don't fall into that trap. Reviewing my day, the Kindle arrived that I had ordered, so I am planning to use this way more than watching TV or YouTube on TV. That's the plan at least, replace screen time with reading time, although this is a screen. And the reason I got this, a huge reason, was because someone I saw on YouTube said that it is stupidly easy to pirate books and get books for free on the Kindle, which is why it pays itself off after several books pretty quickly. So I think maybe from now on, I won't buy any physical books and just pirate all the eBooks that I want to read. So yeah, looking forward to using the Kindle every day. I will see you in two days. 1% better every day, baby. Piggy, piggy, mochi. Piggy, piggy. <laughs> <laughs>